Hello and welcome to Clock Tower Game Studios. It's been a minute. Life has been weird this year. Um, <clears throat> it's been weird the last couple years. Last year and this year, longer than that really. But uh, we're here. Uh, we're not at home in the actual Clock Tower Game Studios. We're on the road today uh, because I travel for work a lot, which is part of a big part of why you guys haven't seen me in a while. So, uh, new job, like I said in the last video, which has included a lot of project work that's taken me away from home and away from my hobby stuff. But this time out, I decided to uh, kind of be a little more proactive about it, and I set myself up with a travel kit to try and get some hobbying in and even film an episode about it while I'm on the road. So with that, I want to apologize first and foremost for the lack of content both on the channel and on the social media feeds. Our website's in need of an update and so I need to get on that. But time's been scarce. Uh, I actually caught COVID and all that business and that was sad and uh, really wiped me out for a while. But we're back, healthy, feeling good. Hopefully uh, the rest of the, you out there that actually watch this are feeling good and staying safe too. Um, <clears throat> perils of traveling for work, I guess. So uh, anyway, we're back. We're gonna dive right into uh, how to put together and how to make good use of a small travel hobby kit. So as you can see, the lighting here is a little harsh because of the desk lamp. But if you're traveling for work and you have to hobby, that desk lamp is actually a saver because now I actually at least have one spot in the room, the rest of the room's not great, that has decent enough lighting to paint by. Um, it's not white balanced, it's not pure natural light, but it's available, it's bright enough to work with, and depending on what you're doing, it really shouldn't, uh, shouldn't cause too many problems. So with that, let's dive right into what we've got here and uh, take a look at the kit itself. So the kit, is actually a Sewing Notions box. Um, this particular one is Singer brand. Um, they're normally kind of expensive, like 30 to 50 bucks, depending on size, shape, brand, and all that. But uh, this one I caught on a good sale at, I believe, Joann's Fabrics for, uh, I wanna say it was like 10 bucks. So I like the style, of course. I'm, I'm really into the uh, Asian style and it, it suits me. Uh, they come in all kinds of different patterns and colors and all sorts of stuff. So it's a cool case. Uh, it's got a magnetic uh, latch on it that holds pretty well. Um, it comes with this uh, padded spot for your uh, pins and there's a little pouch for stuff in there too. I'm not really using those. And in fact, the pin uh, cushion thing there could probably be brought out. But what it does come with that is useful is this top tray, which happens to be the ideal size for dropper bottles. So my recently rebottled Citadel paints fit in there vertically, and then it's uh, even with that, I could fit a couple rows of uh, the Army Painter and Vallejo paints in there without a problem. So I've just packed a couple things of super glue that'll fit, and all of the paints that I've been using for the models I'm working on lately. So with that, next up, I have, let's uh, kind of pop this up so you can see it as I'm unpacking it. I brought a couple of things of paper towels because I like to know what I'm using as far as paper towels go. And, you know, I've also kind of got my color palette painted into this one a little bit because I've been using it previously and it helps me color match any uh, previously mixed paints. Uh, this is just a piece of, um, not PVA, uh, it's a specific kind of foam. Also available at Joann's and Hobby Lobby. It's used a lot for, uh, used a lot for cosplay stuff. And then these are homemade foam trays that I, uh, I use for, normally this is just a homemade army carrier that has a space for a big model in it. But that's why making your own trays like this and having your own container that you use for your army carrier is handy because you can multi-purpose with it and you can make trays to suit exactly what you want. So this is just inch thick uh, cushion foam also available at hobby stores. Um, it's not terribly expensive and if you're doing this a lot, it goes a long way. 
and then I just spray painted it all black. And then I've got my, some of my accessories. I have some old Citadel paint bottles that I've made paint handles out of using uh, poster tack. And I've got enough room for five or six of those. And then I like these old Ziploc containers that I don't travel with the lids, but they're my water cups. So they even fit in there because I want to make sure I've got the water cups I like. And then I have a second tray. This one's a little thicker. Uh, this is a scavenged Pelican case lining, but really you could use the uh, same foam to make, they, it comes in uh, different thicknesses. You could use it to make the same thing, or you could make up to, I think three uh, trays that would fit in there at an inch deep and they'll fit underneath the uh, plastic tray that goes on top because this is in total about three inches. So it's a little snug when you get it all filled up, but it fits okay and it works. As long as your model's not like poking up out of the top of either tray, the uh, plastic won't crush it. And I've made this one um, narrow enough so it leaves a gap at the bottom, which is where I stored my brushes which I just flipped one of my caps across the room. But that's where I store my brushes. And when you're storing your brushes like this, you wanna make sure you've got something to protect the tips of them, especially if you have high quality brushes, which is why I'm going to chase down the tip of that one here in just a second. But yeah, so store your brushes in a way that uh, they're gonna be protected, whether it's in a little sleeve or you put the uh, hard uh, cases over the tips like I did. Um, just make sure they're on there, make sure they stay. And the great thing about this is even though I've traveled a bunch this week, uh, they haven't moved around, nothing's gotten broke. Um, it's been a good case to help get me here. So then uh, once you've got it all here, actually painting is just as simple as getting your uh, models popped back on your, getting your models popped back on your paint handles and getting your little paint station set up and filling up your water cups, which isn't really a challenge. So get this all put together. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this video helped uh, anybody out there that has to travel a lot for work or even if you're going to conventions or something. A little case like this is relatively cheap to make yourself. Uh, you can make it however you want so it's infinitely customizable. Um, mine cost me a grand total of I think $40 give or take. Of course you can also buy some products that are great for this like uh, Army Painter, uh, even Warhammer has their own versions of this little portable kit for painting and hauling minis around, especially on a small scale. You can buy bigger cases and make your own trays and stuff for them, make dividers however you want. I have a handful of different ones that I've made primarily with stuff I've purchased at you know, the big box hobby stores and um, you can do it for pretty cheap. And one of the other great things about it is like the way I've made mine, um, each case has multiple trays beyond what just goes in it or fits in it at one time. So if I have different needs, like I need to haul some big models, I've got some thicker foam and I can swap them in and out as much as I need. So it's a really cheap way to haul around minis if you need to paint on the road like I did for work or if you're going to a convention or something of that nature, especially now that the world's starting to open back up. 
So if you learned anything or if you like the content we're putting out, even though it's a little sparse at the moment, uh, be sure to give us a like, share, and a subscribe. And if you want to keep up with all the latest videos coming out here at the Clock Tower, be sure to hit the bell notification icon. You can also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Instagram. Instagram gets the most often updates, usually with hobby update pictures, although uh, those have been slow. They're starting to pick back up again now that the world's calming down, our, our little world's calming back down at least. Um, and remember to be kind and take care of one another. The world's still a messy place, even if it's becoming a little more safe, what with the vaccine and everything being out. This isn't a channel about that though, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time dwelling on it. Just remember that things are really stressful for a lot of people right now. So be kind, be courteous, take care of one another. And remember, at the clock tower, it's always game time.